I don't know about you, but I feel like I'm having a more difficult time communicating with people now than I ever used to. To be able to communicate effectively, I feel like the most important thing is to be able to listen. You have to be an active listener if you're actually going to be able to communicate. It's a two-way street. Give your full attention to the person you're communicating with. Make an effort to understand their perspective. Everyone has a different one. You have to make an effort. Not everyone has the same mindset you have. What you said on show that you heard. That's that's a good one. I do that all the time. When someone tells me something, sometimes I'll just repeat it or repeat what they say. That helps a lot. Just do it. It doesn't matter. They might be like, what? Just repeat it. Just be clear and concise. Speak clearly. That's another thing too. And I realized that I found that out at my, my last job the hard way when we had the radios. Nobody could speak on the radio. They couldn't, for some reason, the, the language was not audible. Like you couldn't, it, it made no sense to me. I don't know, but if, aside from that, if you want to get your point across, you need to speak clearly and directly. Avoid using any type of like jargon or slang that the person you're speaking to may not understand. Figure out what your crowd is. Figure out what the audience is and how they will understand. Also, let's not forget about that body language. Oh boy, body language, literally like 50%, if not more. For me, it's like 80. <laughs> I can have a full-blown conversation with someone without saying one word. Of course, yeah, it won't be a very productive conversation, but you know, I can, I can uh, communicate something with someone with my eyes. So nonverbal communication, very important such as facial expressions. Be careful what your face is doing. That's how wrinkles happen too if you scowl too much. Have you seen those people with those like deep eyebrow rigid, like the forehead wrinkles that are just like, like a little bongo drum, like a xylophone. Be mindful of your body language and make sure it aligns with what you're saying. And say something and your body can say something different. And then whoever you're speaking to is not gonna be able to like understand what you're saying because you're transmitting two different messages here. If you want to communicate effectively, depending on your situation, I'm not going to give you a work example because communicating at work is drastically different than just communicating with like a friend or talking or just having a conversation with a random individual. I would say you should practice more empathy. Practice your empathy, please. It'll help create a sense of connection. It'll make you feel connected. And when you feel connected to people, you can communicate better. It's just how it is. So, practice, practice, practice. My friends, I need you to practice that empathy and listening and communicating. It's about communicating, you know, with anything and everything. As much as I preach saying, bring your energy in, Yes, do that. But doing that doesn't cause you to be alone. That's the fear that prevents people from doing that. You just have to let it go. Open, become an active listener. I feel like the very first step would be to learning to listen. My intent is to be able to get people to communicate more effectively. People will do what they wanna do. I'm not trying to convince anyone to do anything because people are people, they're gonna live their lives. However, I like to explain things in a different analytical type of way that would cause people to think. Think back to your last conversation and uh, like what happened there? How, how were you communicating? Was it effective? Did you have a, an effective communication style? Were you actually listening? 